comes to big sandwiches, I fell in love with something. I was explaining to our friends from Fairway, who will be along later today, that when I was at Barnard and would go home with my friend Gail to New Jersey, the big treat, and her parents would order for us because they knew how we loved it, Sloppy Joes. And they're still turning out incredible Sloppy Joes at Town Hall Deli, one of the originals on Valley Street, South Orange. And amazing, Tony Wonski, who's the owner of Town Hall Deli, is overnighting Sloppy Joes everywhere. And so we had said to Tony, look, you know, one thing if you live there or you're smart enough to order them in advance, but I'd love to be able to make a version of this spectacular sandwich at home. But first, Tony, explain, I was trying to explain to Mitchell London and Danny from Fairway, what exactly is a Sloppy Joe? Hi, it's, Jones. Hi. It's not what people think. It's not like a lot of chopped meat ground up. No, that would be the man with sandwich. Our sloppy Joe is um, basically germane to the uh, South Orange, Livingston area, but it's spread out all over the country um, because it's a, of its popularity. It's been around for about 20, 25 years now. Um, and basically it's, it's your favorite meats, roast beef, turkey, corned beef, pastrami. I love them so much. <laughs> uh, on three slices of thinly sliced rye bread, uh, the key to, to making them at home or, or, or you know, when, you, when you're looking for a place to, to buy them is fresh um, ingredients. Uh, the bread must be, you know, butter soft, yeah. fresh. Um, and the meats need to be really, you know, just freshly cut off uh, off the roast. And the the coleslaw, right, has right. to just be the most delicious. But let me ask you, because when I was trying to explain to the guys what it is, I forgot, is it just turkey or roast beef or ham or corned beef, or is it combos? No, it's it's uh, the way we make it here is it's two meats, your two favorite meats. But there are those people that prefer to, to have a roast beef, roast beef Joe or a turkey, turkey Joe. But um, to get the full flavor of the sandwich, um, the original one was tongue and ham. That I'm telling you, if my husband's listening now, he's screaming uh -huh. at the radio that I hadn't ordered this for the beloved's football game. <laughs> So it's the melody of the, of the different meats and the Swiss cheese. The Swiss cheese should have a little bite to it. And it's um, thin, right? It's sliced nice and thin so everything blends. Exactly. And the coleslaw that we use here, we brine the cat, we cut the cabbage up, we brine it, um, and then before we put any mayonnaise or any anything in it, we we drain the brine out of it, and then we don't put the mayonnaise. And that's the that's the coleslaw we use on the sandwich. Wait, you don't add mayonnaise to this coleslaw? No, not at all. It's no. just all this fresh cabbage and everything but nothing what's binding it together uh well we put a little butter on the top layer but the russian dressing which is a you on know, the sandwich yeah the, the russian dressing we make our own mayonnaise here and we make our own russian um and that is on oh, each man. layer yeah and that's what really gets it, here that kicks it off to the you know the perfect flavor from town hall now we're on wednesday if someone is listening Mm -hmm. Do they, is it too late? Because the, you can't overnight it, really. I mean, today's Thursday. You can't overnight it until the day before. Is that right? Because you can't correct. let it sit yeah, in your fridge. We just pack it in ice. They're not frozen or anything. Yeah, so we're, we're being inundated with calls right now for shipping for Friday for Saturday, and the folks are going to put it in the refrigerator. And they'll serve it Saturday. Sunday. Sunday. For Sunday, yes. All right, what's the perfect phone number for people to get you? I'm talking to Tony Wonski, Town Hall Deli. They were among the first. When did this deli start making Sloppy Joes? Um, I, I want to say about 1930s, early 1930s. You know, it's funny. Whenever I go anywhere, whether it's a friend's house, a condolence call in New Jersey, there are platters of Sloppy Joes. It's automatic, right? That's, that's correct. Okay, so the perfect phone number to get the perfect Sloppy Joe is... 973-762-4900. Okay, and ask for you so that people who are at the other end understand. Okay. Now, you can either order them and just go pick them up, 
or have them overnighted on Friday. How much are they? I forgot already. I once gave my one of my kids a screening for a new movie, and if you remember, Tony, I called you. I ordered a zillion sloppy joes. Yes, I do remember for that. Yes, it was we, fantastic. We delivered them to the city to the screening. Yeah, right to the movie studio. So, how much are they? Uh, the basic sloppy joes are nineteen ninety nine. If you um, get the premium turkey or pastrami, yeah, my favorite, or the turkey. Yeah, and the and the tongue, it, it, it's going to go up to twenty two ninety nine. And that's for one a big sloppy joe. That's one sloppy joe, eight pieces, feeds two to three people easily. Okay, so don't get scared. It's it comes out to not a lot of money. No, it's no, three no, it's people doing it. Quite that. the bargain and quite the filling sandwich. You know, two pieces is good for me. Oh, yeah, right. two pieces. I'm one piece is good for me. They're big. Is that still the most popular thing you sell? Absolutely, yeah, by far. And then for Sunday, we'll, we'll do six, seven, maybe eight hundred. You know, the giants, oh. are, the giants are doing it for us. <laughs> and, and you know, I mean, you can't do sloppy joes on any bread other than paper thin rye bread. It just doesn't taste the same. Correct, but if you're doing it at home, I mean, you, you need to do it yourself. I mean, you can buy, you know, your favorite rye bread, but it's got to just be soft and fresh. And if it's too thick, thickly cut, to your point, Joan. Um, you might want to just use two pieces. All right, so if I'm doing it at home, let's say, yeah. and I'm going to do it with turkey, ham, or corned beef, something like that. Correct. Okay, so wh just walk me yeah, through it Yeah, I'm going to walk you fast. through it. Just take, take the rye bread, and if it's thin enough, you're going to use three pieces. You're going to put the ham on one so or the corned beef or the pastrami, whatever. Yeah, whatever, you whatever cold cut uh -huh. fillings you you want to put on there. Put the meat on thin layer, maybe not even a quarter inch. Um, you don't want to overwhelm the sandwich. You're going to put a layer of coleslaw, about you know uh, three eighths of an inch, on top of the, each meat. Um, now your coleslaw does not have dressing on it. No, it's just it, we brine, we we chop up the cabbage, we uh, put a brine, which is just really sugar and vinegar, uh -huh. and um, we let it sit overnight, and then we drain the brine off for the for the sloppy okay. goes. So it's kind of a dry dry cold right. sloth, but it still has it's that wet from everything green, else. Sweet taste, yes. Um, and then uh, you're going to put the coleslaw on top of each of the meats and right. put a layer of um, Russian dressing. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, you're going to just put a piece of cheese. And then you're going to put it all together. Put one of those layers on top of another layer and the top piece of bread on, and you're good to go. All right. Let me ask you a question, Tony. In the coleslaw... Are there carrots in the coleslaw? Yes, yeah, shredded. There are some. There are shredded stuff. carrots, and you add a little sugar to this too, or no? The brine is consists of vinegar, right. um, four four what they call four grain vinegar, which uh -huh. is a little stronger than your uh, right, table right, vinegar, right, mm -hmm. right and uh, sugar. And that's the brine. And it, okay. we just soak that and in And then you own, drain it. And then we drain it. Okay. And then you do that in layers. And Russian dressing is the dressing of choice. That's the one. Okay. Well, you're making us long. We miss you. Well, we're going to send you. We're going to send you a tray in there. No. <laughs> Some afternoon. No, don't send us a tray. No. You'll send it one other day. Yeah, it's hard for no, us to... I, yeah, I meant some other day. Yeah. Okay, we love Super it Super Bowl, we're day. inundated right now. No, we'll wait till after Super Bowl. Thank you. Tony Wonski, Town Hall Deli. 60 Valley Street, South Orange, and honestly, they are delicious. I would never think I like sandwiches like that, but they are good. 973-762-4900, that's our phone number. And then, everywhere, people are taking sides and battling. Legal Seafoods, the legendary C4 